Well, I hope you enjoyed the last little exercise. And uh, we're now going to concentrate on the stretch command. So this is video number 42, uh, stretch. And if you'd like to open up your drawing, number 42, stretch, and then we can work alongside together. Stretch is uh, a really amazing command. It's uh, more powerful than you would imagine. And uh, we can take this square and we can convert it into a rectangle by stretching the right hand side. And as we do so, you'll see the dimension change. So we start inside AutoCAD with the command S T R E T C H, enter. And we use a green crossing window to pick up the corners of the object that we want to move. So I'm only selecting the right hand side of my square, okay, with a green crossing window and click. Enter to tell AutoCAD that we've finished selecting. And then I'm going to pick up a base point. In this case, it's going to be the midpoint here. Click and pull over to the right. And you can already see the dimension changing. Now, we don't want to accidentally go off on one. OK, you could go diagonally. OK, I'm not intending to do that. I want to stay on polar. I pull in the right direction, make sure I'm on polar. And I'm going to add 800 millimeters to the size of my stretch. OK, so I'm going to add 800 here. Type in 800, enter and the overall dimension increases to 2 meters 300. Okay, that's pretty easy, isn't it? Now we're going to just practice that once more because I want you to get it clearly in your mind. So I'm going to do a Control Z as an undo and we're going to go through it in a slightly more speedy way. S, Enter, which is Stretch. Select, Enter, Base Point, Click, and then 800, enter. OK. So have a go at that. Pause the video and repeat the same command. OK, see if you can get that right. And then once you've got it right, we're going to try something else. We're going to try a zoom extents. If you remember what zoom extents is, that's Z enter, E enter. And you'll see that we've got a building here that we want to change the parameters on. So if I zoom in a little bit, you can see I've got a kitchen extension and I want to make my kitchen extension longer. I don't want to have to redraw all of that, but I want to make the whole thing longer by 600 millimeters. So I issue the stretch command, S, enter. I use a green crossing window over the sections that I want to move. And I'm just going to pick up this portion here. This is what I want to move. Click. Enter. I can click into fresh air and start my move and drag in that direction. I'm going directly north. Keep on polar and type in 600. Enter. Now, although I might have to do a little bit of editing on the kitchen cabinets, I've basically got the whole of my kitchen now extended and you can see the dimension here has extended to 5 meters 600. Let's see if I can do that on the side of my house. Here we've got the side of the house is 2 meters away from the kitchen wall and I want it 4 meters away. So I'm just going to zoom far enough away to see the whole wall. I'm going to issue the stretch command S enter. I'm going to make sure that when I click, I'm making sure that I can do a green crossing window through all the bits that I want to extend. Click, enter. I want to extend by another two meters, pick up a base point in fresh air, pull over towards the left, type in my two meters and enter. Now you can see I've got four meters here. Fantastic. Everything that we want. We've made the whole drawing bigger. We haven't had to redraw it. The stretch command has come to the rescue. Fantastic. 
you might want to have a go at stretching some other stuff. There's plenty of uh, walls you can practice on, or you might want to rewind the video and start again and just repractice right from the middle. Okay, good luck, and we'll see you in the next video.